Good question. To me. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Androbot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide two people. Guide. Androbot. Andrew Watts. Human. Damn. Modern technology, eh? Oh, Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Oh, well. Never mind. Let's have a little look see inside there. To Dr. Crowter, he's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Yeah, he's he's probably suffering mild brain damage now, I guess. Temperature normal. <clears throat> Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. Pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Okay, maybe not mild brain damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. <laughs> Copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication? None. Conclusions, Doctor? Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there are no visible injuries. So, I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? Uh, no. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, the land I We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay. What should I do? Please look for the mission log should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the landing. 
Oh. I'll get right on that then, yeah? Where's his log then? No, can't go that way. Initial analysis of the samples revealed nickel, iron, manganese, beryllium, and titanium. In the composition, I would give a lot of, I'll give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory: a giant nickel iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere of Regis Three, melting its surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape of it, shape of structures contradicts it. But it will do. Doctor Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA2316. BA2316. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. BA 2316. Unequip. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broken. Um, it's saying more of it's like a story driven game. I'm guessing a bit like a. Okay. Get a bit like a walking sim. But I'm guessing it has puzzles. But yeah, landed, they've landed on a planet and yeah. Stuff has happened. Now for the robot. It's unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this myself. Get the tin head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowther. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Find the relay in the camp. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Like food and supplies, though. Could could uh, do with some of that. Don't look like it. Not here either. Hey, the they're relays. So 
Ah, it is a relay. Very good. I'm connected. What happened here? Is it going to work? We'll see. I've rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Ugh. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. Unfortunately. Hmm. A positronic brain. That has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. Could do some WD-40, probably. Data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Yep, like I say, need some WD-40 in them legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Got you, you tin bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. Alright, where are we going then? Hold up. I want to go back. Landing place, excavation site, Gorski. Alright, so we'll go to the right, we'll go to the excavation site. And again, the landing places look uh, closer. And again, ah, we'll go, we'll go to the excavation site. Excavation site. Let's go this way. Oh, loading screen. Conspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Ah, uh, hole there. Got someone. I'm following the signal. Where'd he go? Let's stay away from that geezer. Let's focus on both, water chemistry testing and genical drilling. Thoroughly. 
No, wait, no, no, no. Layers of sedimentary clay intis interspersed with blackish red substance, not geological, not planetary. Millions of years millions of years old at least. Please do continue. Cosmosolidary Alliance, Interplanetary Commonwealth Headquarters, Space Division Solar System. Dear Dr. Marit, this is in response to the latest Interplanetary Conference. We would like you to we'd like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition of Obelisk 03 as an astrogator. Your skills and overall performance in previous missions prove to us your readiness to take the next step in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission. Sincerely, General Perksard, Commanding Officer, Space Division. Yeah, looks like she's in for a promotion. She's, she's up there. Alright, let's uh, take the long way around then. As you do. Let me up, let me up. Oh, here we go. The signal's coming from the castle from the backpack. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. Here she is. I found her. What's her condition? Marit. 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 Wake up. Wake up. Do you hear me? She dead. Doctor Marit. No. No vital functions. What's going on? I need to. What? Two. She dead. Three. Rip Marit. No promotion for her. I won't give up. Um, how do I... There we go. Whoa. It's a bit fuzz... Uh, focus. R2. R2? No? That's way out of focus, that. Jeez. Let's go around this way. Would have been an easier way up. I recognize the rocks drawn by Krauter. They shouldn't pose a problem in landing. But the doctor marked a waypoint. I don't recall. It's, it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? Call them twins. Twins fits nicely. Affirmative. I'll write that down. Do it 
didn't exactly strike me as Titans, you know. Bit, um, bit thin for Titans. And bones, yeah. Twins fits nicely. I found the area marked by Dr. Crowter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Looks like it. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. <laughs> We're going to go find Gorski. Dr. Gorski wandered off. Koval's nowhere to be seen. He must be nearby. I don't want to believe you would leave Dr. Marit alone. Please go back and search the perimeter again. Alright. Alright, alright, fine. Go look for Corval. This way then. All right, well, we're not going back that way then. Maybe he's on one of the lower levels. the geezers. Oh, lower level. Go on, Ed. Can you hear it? Yes. Is anyone there? What's going on? Doctor? Checking. It's a drill. Cut scene. Any progress? Uh, you dig as far as the terrain and out. It will take a while. Regis, come in. Status report. As for data, sir, we dug up another three cubic meters. The object exhibits remarkable structural homogeneity. <laughs> All spectroscopic analysis shows similar results. Steel with tungsten and nickel alloy? That's right, with the addition of other common metals. Is there any chance of retrieving the entire object for research purposes? No, none at all. Even sonar couldn't cover the entirety of it. Instead, Dr. Gorski calibrated the detector, so we had to look beneath the surface. And? What did you see there? Uh, more of the same. What protrudes above the ground is just the tip of the iceberg. We estimate it extends at least 50 meters underground. 
I see. Oh, and furthermore, it's not a single object. Down below, there is an entire root system. So vast that it's impossible to cover it all at once, either with a scanner or a detector. Have you followed its course? Dr. Gorski's doing just that. Gorski? Are you scanning those roots? Affirmative. Uh, I'm headed westwards. Been going for a few hundred meters already. Still tough to reach the end of it. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I confirm my suspicions. This area has been tectonically inactive for a very long time, and the Aeolian activity is minimal. Therefore, the material that has settled on, or rather covered this metallic structure, is very old, which means these structures are no longer. And what are we talking about here? Hmm, a few thousand years? Tens of thousands? Uh, I can't give a precise assessment, not yet. I'm asking for a rough estimate, Merritt. Uh, um, well then, I guess it... It could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. That's quite old. Hmm. Anything else? Yes. These structures almost certainly didn't form through natural processes. Almost? Well... They don't look like anything I've seen before. And nature will surprise you. Also, I can't find any scientific explanation for this form. Hmm. Could this be what the Alliance is here for? I don't know the depth, Matt. I really don't know. Uh, personally, I doubt it, Astrogator. The more research we do, the more convinced I am that it serves no purpose at all. It's even hard to imagine this could ever have any function. Am I supposed to do something here? Carefully, Cobble. We just we're losing reception. Can you hear us? Over. It's enormous. Merritt, we can't hear you. Damn it! What now, sir? We listen. Wait for the interference to pass. Excuse me, but I don't think it will pass on its own. We need to take action. What do you suggest? I can board the second lander and fly to the surface. Yes, no, I can't let you go alone. My leg... Ah, uh, so that's how I end up on the planet. <laughs>